BS in Denver Sports. Adam Monroe here with Jake Shapiro for BSN Buffs, previewing Colorado's upcoming matchup against the Arizona Wildcats. Jake, what are a few things the Buffs need to do to get that victory against Arizona and Tucson? Well, first, Ali, I gotta say this. They earned that number 12 ranking, but they really got to show that they've earned the 12 ranking because last week they didn't play so well. Uh, and the week before that, or two weeks before that, they had the bye against Stanford. They didn't play so well either, at least offensively. So they've got to come out offensively and dominate Arizona, and that's what they need to do to get a win. Not only to tout their 12th ranking, but to get that victory out in Tucson. I know this might be a crazy question, but some people are questioning whether after Sefa Lufau's performance last week, should he be the starting quarterback or do you go with Steven Montez? Who would question that? A lot of people are. I don't know how you could question that. You've seen Sefa Lufau's, uh, the games he hasn't played in, the two games Steven, or sorry, more than two, but the two games Colorado's lost, Steven Montez played for a majority of those games and really... If Cephalufau was playing in those games, they might have won those games. So Cephalufau is undefeated in the games he's finished for the Colorado Buffaloes this year, and that's a key factor. It's not who starts games, it's who finishes them. And Cephalufau, the leader of this team, although the stat line doesn't back it, is the best option for the Colorado Buffaloes as a quarterback. I agree. Even last week against UCLA, Steven Montez did get a chance to play, and he threw an interception. It was Cepho did as well, but it wasn't just Cepho playing not playing well. Steven also had a few errors in his own. Um, so defense played a huge part in the last two wins. What are, I know you said it earlier, but what are key offensive things the Buffs need to do to get the win? You know, they need to get Philip Lindsay going. It was shocking, in my opinion, to see Philip Lindsay not get the ball in the first play of the game like he has so often this year. When Colorado's offense is rolling, they're rolling behind Phil Lindsay. And they need to feed Phil early and feed Phil often. And that opens so much for this Colorado offense. So that is key. To me, I feel like the wide receivers were so quiet last weekend. And that's one thing, I mean, I think Shea Fields got the ball a few times, Devin Ross three or four times. I don't even know if Bryce Bubble got the ball. They've been very quiet lately. And that was something to do with UCLA's defense. They were able to beat, beat the wide receivers to their point. So I don't know, for me, I think wide receivers need to show up and actually prove, because at the beginning of the season, the wide receivers were playing amazing. Devin Ross, Bryce Bubble, they just had such great catches. They were carrying the game. They were helping with that fast-paced offense. So for me, that's something besides Phil, the wide receivers really need to pick up against Arizona. So score predictions? Well, I think the defense has been so good, Allie, and I think they're going to continue to be so good. I think they're going to hold Arizona, a Pac-12 team, mind you. What the Buffs have done in the Pac-12 is ridiculous. I think they're going to hold Arizona under Two uh, well, two touchdowns. They're going to hold them to 17 points. I got 38-17 Colorado Buffaloes out on the road in Tucson, and that's so impressive from that defense once again. For me, I agree the defense has definitely been able to carry the team, and I think they're going to hold them to only one touchdown. I think hopefully the Buffs offense will pick it up, and I think they'll score 28 points. So Colorado 28, Arizona 7. To catch more of our BSN content, go to bsndenver.com. For Jake Shapiro, I'm Allie Monroy. Back to you. Back to you guys. Damn it! <laughs> if you aren't able to go to Tucson, be sure to go to the official CU watch party at the Blake Street Tavern this Saturday. Game starts at 8 p.m., so be sure to get there early. For Jake Shapiro, I'm Allie Monroy, BSN Buffs.